Last episode, we were looking for Rock'em Sock'ems. All right, maybe it's this one. Let's see what we got here. <gasps> what up, Rep Pack? It's your boy here, King Reptar, back with another video. I hope you guys are having an amazing day, and if you guys aren't, you have the drill camera. <laughs> it's about to get a whole lot brighter, Rep Pack. It's about to actually get a whole lot smaller, smaller, smaller. There we go. Hey guys, we're doing the video from way back here. We're not doing that. That would, that would really suck. But things are gonna get a lot smaller. So right here, guys, I have the second edition to the world's smallest toys. Literally, this thing has the most. With the last video, we saw some of the smallest versions of real life toys that exist, and they actually work. So last time I had like a half a case. This time I got a whole damn box. In this episode, I'm not gonna be showing you guys what's in the box because I actually haven't seen what's in the back of the box. So that way we can get them revealed and kind of randomly get to expect what's gonna happen on them. But one thing I did see without even noticing, it's the Instagram. It's the Instagram logo. <laughs> they have a mini Polaroids. I'd love to pull that in there. So we got that. And I also have four other boxes. But if you're new to this series, in the video, basically how it's gonna work, if I'm able to pull certain toys that I have a real life equivalent of in this box, we're gonna actually pull up the regular size version of the toy and play with that one as well and compare them to the small one. I don't have any all of them, but last episode we were looking for Rock'em Sock'ems. We're gonna get it today. I don't care how many things I got open. We're gonna play Rock'em Sock'ems. I've been wanting to, and I'm going to. Are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. Let's do it. <laughs> oh yeah, that fresh box. Knowing no, no sticky slime nose bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Took my Rock'em Sock'ems. That's what I think happened in the last video, guys. We got so many magic eight balls. Play it. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. It always says that. Those things really do work. Three, two, one. Oh my god! No! But no Rock'em Sock'ems, and that's because Rock'em Sock'ems are the heaviest boxes. I feel like those, ooh, those Walmart <laughs> employees must have weighed the boxes where we didn't get one. So I ordered a fresh box, let's do it. All right, guys, so first box here, let's do it. All right, here we go, first one. Some of these could be the ones from the past boxes. Unfortunately, the Walmart exclusive has like three shared ones with this box, so there's a possibility we could get those. But which one do you think is gonna be the first thing that gets pulled? I wanna do the Polaroid. The Polaroid would be cool. Okay, so I got the first item them out right here. Sounds like there's a lot of pieces, so Sounds I don't know like if that it's is. not gonna be what I want. <laughs> first one in the box. Come on, come on. Polar. Ah, oh, <laughs> hey, dude, first one. Woo. <laughs> that was the chain that was jingling I was around like, what, in there. What could they like, possibly be? Oh my god. Don't even tell me that works. The lens actually works. Dude, stop. <laughs> I, I no know way. the camera can pick this up, guys, but you can actually see through it. Yeah. You can? Yeah. There's an actual piece of glass in there right here in the front, so that works. The question is, does it take it's not good. Oh my! Oh, is it? A oh, it's just a. Dude, I was about to freak <laughs> out. I was gonna be like, man, I only had one photo. Dude, that's really cool. That is awesome for like a camera collector. So you just push it back in and then you just take a photo. That is sick, dude. This is an actually battery powered item in here. All right, so that's our first one right there. For those of you guys that are new, this is kind of what the series is about finding a little type of small, awesome stuff. Okay, so that was pretty awesome. Let's get into the next one. Come on, etch a sketch. All right, next one out. Three, two, Oh my god, don't do this again to me. <laughs> All right, next box, let's get into it. Oh, small. It's a small one for sure. Well, you gave me a hint, so. <laughs> you can't look at that box. Oh. I have, to, I have this whole this whole thing. You throw that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see what it. Oh! It is, dude. That is the smallest, littlest Rubik's cube. Oh, dude, try to move it. I would, but once I ruin it, I won't be able to get it back. <laughs> Oh, you can't solve it? No one can solve these. We're just gonna mess this thing up so nobody could ever get it back to its original state. That is insane that it actually works. Did you know there's like over quadrillions of combinations you can mess that thing up? Algorithmically, the lowest possible number you could still do on any combination is less than 14 moves. Why would I know that? I, I follow a fun facts page. <laughs> I'm just saying, you're like, oh, we're gonna really mess this thing up. I'm like, well, somebody out there can solve whatever you do in 14 moves. Well, screw them. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> All right, so let's see. So far, so good. We got one duplicate, but these are like the best ones to get. So let's see what's the next one. Come on, etch a sketch. I got a feeling it's etch a sketch. Do you really? No, I'm just puzzled. <laughs> All right, guys, so I randomly just got the ability to be able to finally do these Rubik's Cubes. And the only thing is I'm embarrassed. Can't do it on camera, but like, watch this. Ready? Do this. I'm gonna do it. I'll be right back. All right, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> All right, next box. I didn't figure it out, right? 
All right, let's see what we got in this one. Etch a sketch? I feel etch. I felt sketch. I just didn't feel like the, the TM. <laughs> I think we found something that can't sketch, but I think we found something that can doodle. <laughs> oh, what is that? This is called a doodle top. I used to love these when I was a kid, and I will show you what it does. All right, so we got this piece of paper right here. We gotta take this and watch this. Wow. It seems like maybe it dried out over the uh, time of being in that box. <laughs> Wait, it's a very, it makes very faint green lines. <laughs> That's cool. Doodle top. <laughs> you draw it, I might be like. <laughs> there we go. All right, so we got the world's smallest doodle top. Can we get the world's smallest noodle top? It's gonna be another doodle doodle bob. We got two of everything so far, yeah? Yeah, it probably. No. Dead ass. Still sealed. No opening. So far, there was two Rubik's cubes, two Polaroids, and now we got two oh! <laughs> doodle fits. Hey, this is blue though. This so far has been two of everything. That's very peculiar. All right. So then I'm gonna call it that we're gonna get two in a row. Whatever the next thing. Is. Whatever the next thing is. But I'm gonna say magic eight ball. I'm gonna guess feel like magic we're... seven ball. I don't think that, that exists. It has less magic. Oh. <laughs> the magic eight ball. I'm gonna be a little creeped out. It's a it's a doodle top. I'm still freaked out because you oh. freaked me out. <laughs> All right, guys, so this one is actually one of the original ones where we were able to get the rock'em sock'em. So let's see what we got in here. Let's hope this has it. Rock'em sock'em. You ready to rock them? And I guess sock them. I'm always ready to sock them. You're not ready to rock them, just sock them? That sounds like a little bit of a problem, but alright. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we got inside here. Oh! That is the cutest little silly. It's not even silly. It's just kind of like moderately, you know, quirky. <laughs> giggly, giggly buddy, like quirky, giggly buddy. These things you have to like squeeze on them to pop them open. Oh my God. That is that is the littlest amount of, that looks like somebody just put their like, yeah, employee, yeah. shoved their gum in there. Yeah, that's literally what that looks like. It is, that looks really gross. Yeah, it's silly putty though, man. It actually is actual silly putty. Holy crap. This is actually one of the items we have a big one of. So let's grab that real quick. We have some cooler big items. That's, I'm just doing silly putty because I haven't pulled it. All right. So so right here, guys, we got the silly putty, which is really weird. I don't know why it came shaped like a maggot, but <laughs> it's there. And it came with these two smaller ones. This thing is so small. You can literally close the other silly putty. Even with the putty in there, you can still close it in there. <laughs> I'm gonna do another old one. So let's see what this one's got in it. All right, let's see what this one's got in it. Let's pop it open. This is another Walmart exclusive one. All right, let's see what we got here. Ah! <laughs> yes, dude, finally. <laughs> finally, guys, that was one of the ones I've been wanting to open from this box since the first episode, but it never happened. So here we go. He looks a lot sadder than the big one. Wow, he looks depressed. <laughs> are you are you sure you want me to open my mouth? I, might, uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know about this. I don't know about this. You might hurt your finger. <laughs> but hey, it's Crocodile Dentist. Let's see if it works. You go ahead and press the tooth. And then we're going to play this on the big scale. You're, you're going to die. You're going to die. Oh. Yeah, now press it down. Oh, you press it down. All right, right here. Whoever loses this, loses their finger for real. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was just making that up. I was just making that up. I made that roll up, okay? Yeah, yeah, exactly. But, you know, I play serious. No! All right, so we played Mini Crocodile Dentist. But I got the big version, so let's see how this compares to the other one. And let's see if this one looks a little happier. We're happy about a job. Fighting people's fingers. All right, let's pull the man out. And oh my, oh my God, he's blind. Oh, that thing is huge. All right, let's put the eyes on this thing. And let's see how it looks. Wow, man. I'm literally making him. I bet you this is how parents feel. No, that's not how they feel. They feel more erotic. Hmm. Okay, I'm already going to say, what the hell happened to him? Why is he so sad and why is he so happy? Why didn't they make him look like this? He's like, he's the world's smallest alligator. He ain't the world's happiest. <laughs> All right, so we're playing Crocodile Dentist. I'm excited about it because I have not played this in years. We're going to play Crocodile Dentist, but we're going to put some steaks on the line. What, right? what kind of steaks? Like, like good steaks. Filet mignon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about all that bristle you get at Walmart. All right, I'm talking about beef. <laughs> so here's what we're doing. If Parker can win, I'm going to let him keep all of the duplicates, which means he'll going to keep the Polaroid, keep the marker, keep the Rubik's Cube, okay, and any okay. other duplicate. I'll let you keep it if you can beat me. I like those. I like those. But if you lose... Hey, I never said there was no, okay, what, what? If that happens, then any etch -a sketch that you want so badly, you have to turn over to me. Any of them. I don't care if there's five. I want the etch -a sketch so bad! I don't care. If you lose, <laughs> then, they, then they're mine. <laughs> I guess you just stop any argument with, I don't care. <laughs> All right, well, he doesn't don't care, so let's just do it. All right, I'm going first. Oh, oh, oh right. you son of a gun. <laughs> <laughs> You lose. No, I don't. He's got one tooth in the middle there. <laughs> Best out of three. Fine. This time though, you've got to press two teeth. Hmm. All right, here we go. I went for them molars. <laughs> You're I, saw him, I saw him getting agitated. You better press him before he gets mad. All right then, we're just going on this straight line. I'll follow the leader. 
<laughs> you only got two opportunities. It's a 50-50% chance that you're gonna lose your ass. <laughs> I decided I'm not playing. <laughs> Go ahead, hit it. What if I just stayed open? No, hit, hit this one first. Go ahead, hit it first. Because that would have been mine. <laughs> All right, last game then. This time, you gotta press three. <laughs> this is ridiculous. <sighs> oh! <laughs> this one, this one. Oh, come oh! on! <laughs> one, and it still happened. All right, so I won. That means I'm keeping my etchup, my sketchup. <laughs> okay, but if we manage to pull the rock'em sock'ems and you win, I will let you have all the rock all of the duplicates. Okay? Oh, okay. All right, sounds good. You should have been happy here. All right, guys. So that was a lot of fun. Let's see what's in the next box. Oh come on, Stop man. Stop feeling it, man. <laughs> I wasn't feeling this silly. You got one ball. It's hot blood, and I got another one that's blue balled. All right, let's see what we got in this next one. Oh my lord. It, it's it, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> let's see what we got here. <gasps> No! Yeah! <laughs> we got it right here. We got the etch a sketch. I finally pulled. That's the whole reason I bought this whole box was to pull this little etch a sketch. So it's kind of more convenient just to buy it. You shut up, okay? <laughs> this is more fun. All right, so we got the etch a sketch. The question now is with the Polaroid, we knew something was gonna be awry. There's no way you take a photo. Can this etch a sketch really etch a sketch? <gasps> Oh my wow. god, it actually works. Oh, but does it do the thing where you shake it and it clears it? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Dang. It does, dude. My question's answered. Holy crap, I really enjoyed this line. If you guys want to see a part three to this, let me know. There is still a series three world smalls, and I would love to keep doing it. These are a lot of fun. So let me know down below. But we got the etch a sketch. Let's see what's in the next box. We still need the rock and sock him so I can beat Parker's ass. Yeah. All right, here we go. Let's see what we got in the next one right here. You know what? Even though you try to take my etch sketches I'm a good winner. I'm gonna go ahead and just say you can have this one. I got a dupe you. A duplicate. Thanks. <laughs> now you got your own etch sketch Let's see what we got in the next box here. A lot of duplicates guys. You guys didn't see these on camera We got some Hot Wheels as well. You guys saw those in the last video as well So let's see what new stuff we got in here. All right guys So after further inspection everything on here actually we had to check because I was like man We're getting a lot of duplicates. Every Everything has been pulled except for two items and the rock'em sock'em. So there's gonna be a lot of duplicates. Those will be cut out of the video, guys, because you know you'll see, you'll see the same thing multiple times. And then when we pull those, you'll see that. This, this is this is a magic eight ball. We have multiple of these. Am I gonna get another one of you? I hope not. <laughs> All right, let's see if we got anything new in this one. Hey, this feels new. Does it feel like a yo? Feels more like a, another yo. A yo yo. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh sweet, that is really small actually. I have a trouble believing that the inertia that it needs for a yo yo to come back up it actually would work like this but let's see oh <laughs> hey dude yo, yo! fucking world smallest yo-yo that actually yo's and yo's all day long i wish i could do some tricks with this thing the only trick i know is what the hell are you doing <laughs> All right, let's see what we got in this one. I think we found it. The last item that is needed, besides the Rock'em Sock'ems, which I feel like the Rock'em Sock'ems is just never gonna happen at this point. <laughs> let's see. Yeah, <laughs> and it does work. We got the Tiny Fisher Price cell phone. Comment down below if you had one of these growing up. I think this out of the whole box is probably the item that either you had as a kid or you knew some kid that had this. Nobody didn't see this growing up at some point in time. Oh yeah, man. <laughs> okay, man. You know what that means. We got seven left, and we still haven't pulled the Rock'em Sock'em. So that means either there's a mystery item we can pull, which we don't know that whether that is yet, or the Rock'em Sock'ems. So now, it's just a hope game. But let's see what we got here. Let's bam through these last ones and see what we can pull. All right, guys, so we got one more here, and I'm feeling, I'm not gonna lie, we were just trying to look for the duplicates. I found one more that I don't know what it is. It makes no sense. You go ahead and fill it and see if you can try and guess what that is. It has to be the mystery item, right? There's one mystery item, guys, where we don't know what it is until you pull it. That has to be the mystery item. There's no way it feels like any of those. Here we go. Let's see what is the mystery item for the, the box itself. I didn't even think we'd be lucky enough to pull one. And it is... 
<laughs> that is sweet. We got Gumby and friends right here. Holy crap. There is actually a Gumby figure. That is so cool that they added this in as an item. If you don't know who Gumby is, he's basically this guy that you can stretch around just about anywhere. He was Stretch Armstrong before Stretch Armstrong. We know what the mystery item is. That is good. Okay, so now, now we really only have the Rock'em Sock'em's left to pull. Hopefully this four is it. All right, maybe it's this one. Let's see what we got here. <gasps> Dude, do you see that? Is it him? Oh my God. The Rock'em. Do it, do it. Sock'em. <laughs> <laughs> the rock of sock of punches. I guess there's only one. I so guess wait, you only have rock. I need sock em. So it turns out that only one comes in the box. There's only two boxes left. That means that if the blue isn't in there, we don't have enough to play rock of sock em. I mean, so cool. Yeah, I don't know. It is very cool. Does his head pop? Oh my gosh, yes, it does. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see if this one has big blue. Does it have big blue? A little blue, but not, blue. not the blue I was looking for. All right. All right, last one here, guys. This is the last one. Hopefully, we can get some luck on. Let's see what we got here. Here we go. Let's see what we got here, man. I'm not even going to feel it. Let's just go for the rip. No. Oh, no, no. No, 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 no. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! I couldn't believe it. <laughs> we got them! Big red and little blue. Our bet the average size, both. They're both great. The rock'em sock'em. Let's see if we get a punch in here. Oh, oh, oh. Damn, red's head's tight. Let's try to get a punch with the blue. Oh, come on. That's just yeah. so freaking red. Yeah, got double hands in it. <laughs> yeah, you want, yeah, you want to do that? Right, just lift his head up. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> like, like that. All right, so now that we got the Rock'em Sock'em, now we can get out the full-size Rock'em Sock'em, compare them. I will be able to play Rock'em Sock'em for the first time in 21 years. Holy crap, it's a long time. That's 21. 22. I played it when I was one. All right, dude, look at the packaging on that thing. I have been waiting to play this since... When did that last video go up? Like two weeks. Like two weeks I've been two waiting. Weeks. <laughs> two weeks. Two whole weeks. So we have it here, though. Here we go. Let's see how... So sick. That art is awesome. It looks like the. I feel like these are the actual kids from like 19. This kid's probably like 52 now. I feel like I know them. That might be your grandpa currently watching this. That <laughs> might be your grandpa. That could be. Let's pop this bad boy open. Dang. Knock his block off. Man, he really did slug him. This was the original Bloods and Crips. Okay, guys? Oh. <laughs> That's where it started. That's why they started wearing red and they started wearing blue. They're like, I'm rocking sock and blue. I'm rocking sock and red. All right, so here we go. Let's pull. That's my guy right there. That was my champion big red red rocket is his original name let's go ahead and see my sisters which he she used growing up and uh you know other people that beat my ass growing up i <laughs> used was big blue otherwise known as blue bomber the blue bomber right here we got both of them let's compare them to the small ones dude you know what dude detail by detail they did pretty damn good it's like exact <laughs> wow. even the screw is there and everything very impressive okay so we're gonna set this up guys right now and me and Parker are gonna play some Rock'em Sock'em. <laughs> All right, we got the red rocket, we got the blue bomber. Tell me, which character do you want to use? I want to use the blue bomber. Okay, well then I guess I'm going to have to pick the red rocket. So let's do this. We're going to be starting this right now. You're going to hear our voices. I'm the red one, Parker's the blue one. Let's start. Whoever wins this one, Parker gets to take on the duplicates. If I lose this one, he gets to keep the edge of sketch. So let's see what's going to happen here. All right, best two out of three is the game rules. Three, two, one. I, right. I knocked him off the stand. You did not set this up right. <laughs> All right, here we go. Round two. Here we go. In three, two, one. Oh, that was... first. Let's we'll have to see the replay. We'll have to see the replay. Okay, after assessing the replay that the party wanted, <laughs> we did discover mine did pop first. So this is the. You can wait for my man. <laughs> All right, guys. Last round. Here we go. Three, two, one. <laughs> The champion has claimed another game of adolescence. <laughs> wow, last minute punches. That's just dirty. 
All right, so you guys waited for the match of a lifetime. <laughs> and your boy took the adolescence victory as always. I hope I was like the one thing I got. <laughs> Hopefully we can do another episode of this. If you guys want to see it, it's series number three. I can make sure it happens. I know where to find the boxes. If you guys want to see that happen, let me know. So smashing that like button, subscribe if you're new here, and check out this video on your screen right here, which is the last episode of World Smallest. If you guys didn't see that, that one was insane, dude. There was a World Smallest Beyblade, which was ridiculous. So go check that one out down below, guys. But as always, Rep Pack, I will see you beautiful people in my next W. Adios. Bloop.